Two generations after emancipation, a tide of racism had betrayed the promise of first-class citizenship. In the South, whites had stripped blacks of the right to vote and construct a society based on racial segregation. In the North, African Americans confronted Madrid forms of discrimination that thwart their aspirations. The Supreme Court turned a blind eye to the degradation of American citizenship taking place across the land and the government itself. The story of the NAACP is a story of struggle to create and maintain equal citizenship for all Americans. Through exposing the horrors of lynching, keeping the issues of equality before the courts, and organizing branches throughout the country, the NAACP drew a national following and inspired others to form an organization of racial change. The NAACP works get, gave hope not only to blacks in the North, but to men and women in the South, like Rosa Parks and Mayor Evers. The centennial of NAACP is occasionally the highlights the problems of race and citizenship in American history. From the experience of free blacks in the land of slavery to the politic aspiration of the nation and Americas, where formal slaves also sought the fruits of citizenship. Welcome.
The chant we just sang is a chant of respect to our elders. We are blessed with the gift of life, and we're especially blessed when we have the gift of being an elder. For there's only one way to become an elder, that's die up. I don't know anybody here who's ready to go. Or as I say in North Carolina, I don't know anybody here who's fit to go. <laughs> to be an elder is a special thing. When you are born into this world, you are gifted with instant elders. Someone older than you that teaches you how to do the basic things you need to do in this life. How to wash yourself, how to speak, how to dress, how to clothe, how to eat. And this comes from our elders. This chant says all that we are, we owe to you, our elders. This moment, this time, was made possible by our elders and our ancestors. All that we have, we give to you, our elders, for without you, we would not be here. Today, on the backs of our ancestors and the strength of our elders, we made something miraculous happen. We elected Barack Obama as president. <laughs> our elders are our foundation. Our elders are our foundation. We give blessing and thanks to our elders, for without you, we could not be. Pour this libation in honor of our angels, in honor of our God. We pour 
Lord's libation so that they know that we know that they know that we know. We pour this libation in honor of all those who have given their life, their time, their blood, their sacrifice. We pour this libation in their honor that the congregation go, Ashe. The second part of our libation will happen in a moment where we're going to invite you to call out the ancestors of your family, your community, and our historical ancestors as well. I'm ahead of myself. Now we're going to invite you to call out the name of your personal ancestors, your family ancestors, your historical ancestors, your community ancestors. Because there are people in our community who have given of themselves so that we can be where we are today. So we invite you to call them out. Use your outdoor voices. Call them out strong. Share it. There are all of us who will be calling out at the same time, but they can hear us. All right? So we call this vibration in honor of Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Oh, no. 